In the previous video, we discussed the Syriax release test, which is a special test used in the assessment of thoracic outlet syndrome. Over here on the right, this is the test position. So the PT stands behind the patient, grasps under the patient's forearms, really near the elbows, with the elbows bent to 90 degrees of flexion, and the forearms and hands in radio ulnar neutral, so thumbs facing up. You then lean the patient back about 15 degrees from vertical and passively elevate their shoulder girdles. Okay. Well, it turns out that if this test is positive, there's a really good treatment that's based on this test position that the patient can do at home. So this is the Syriax release based treatment. And you can see it over here in this picture. It's very similar to what we see in the actual special test. So to do this treatment at home, the patient's going to be positioned and seated, and they want to have back support, so with a chair that supports their spine. The patient's going to position themselves with bilateral upper extremity support with both forearms in radio ulnar neutral and elbows at 80 to 90 degrees of flexion, just like we saw in the Syriax release test position. Now, in the Syriax release test, the PT is passively elevating the patient's shoulder girdles. Obviously, the PT doesn't go home with the patient, right? So the patient has to have a way to promote that passive shoulder girdle elevation while sitting in the chair. And you can see one way this is done. Basically, take a bunch of pillows, towels, etc., things that you would stack on top of the armrests, and then the forearms rest on those. And that passively elevates the shoulder girdles, as you see right here. Now, one little critique of this image over here on the left. Notice that her forearms and hands are actually pronated, palms are face down. They're not in radio ulnar neutral, although she is still likely to get the benefit of the exercise at home as long as she's able to get that passive shoulder girdle elevation. Here's another way you can do this if you have adjustable bar stools or chairs. You can put one on either side of the chair that you're sitting in and rest the forearms on that in radio ulnar neutral with the elbows at 90 degrees of flexion to get that passive shoulder girdle elevation. Now, it's not just as simple as sitting there in this position. There's some important considerations. So what about the duration of this treatment? Well, you're going to hold this position until peripheral symptoms are produced. You actually want to get some mild symptom provocation here. So patient is encouraged to allow symptoms to occur as long as they can be tolerated for up to 30 minutes. Okay, So you want to get some symptom provocation, but you just hold here. And you want a symptom decrescendo as time passes. So maybe over the course of a few minutes, the symptoms reach a peak. That peak should be tolerable. But then over time, the symptoms drop and drop and drop over the course of the 30 minutes that you're sitting in this position. Now, obviously, just sitting there is very boring. So you probably want to position yourself in front of the TV, watching the football game, watching Netflix, whatever, something to take your mind off of the fact that you're actually just sitting there for 30 full minutes. Otherwise, it's going to be the longest 30 minutes of your life. And the goal here is to fully unload and relieve tension to the neurovascular structures going through that thoracic outlet, whether it's nerves, arteries, veins, etc. And typically, you'd prescribe this for the patient to be doing in the PM prior to going to bed at night. Now, what if the patient comes back to you and they say, you know what, I did this, I held the procedure, I know I did it correctly, but the symptoms didn't reduce over those 30 minutes, and they may have even increased a little bit. Well, that probably means that they were in a little bit too much of shoulder girdle elevation. So if you had this set up over here on the left, maybe take a few of those towel rolls away so there's not as much shoulder girdle elevation and try it again. If they've got these adjustable bar stools or chairs, lower them a little bit so there's not as much shoulder girdle elevation. The goal over time at home would be day after day, they're able to maybe tolerate a little bit extra elevation of the shoulder girdle until finally, coupled with other things that you do in the clinic, their thoracic outlet syndrome is gone. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.